Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 savory snacks in Disney World, Florida. So I've already done I've already done a video of the top 10 sweet snacks in Disney World and obviously this is the opposite to sweet if you don't have a sweet tooth. I've got a massively sweet tooth so the savory options for me are more like a light meal or on the go if I've missed a meal because I'm rushing around the parks or because I've got a big meal table service coming up then the savory snacks just sort of tie me over hunger wise and so that's really how I'm angling my savory snacks and most good savory snacks are in the Magic Kingdom and Epcot because of the World Showcase there are a few generic savory snacks that cover the Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios as well but not so much I'll also go through how much each of these snacks cost in dollars and whether they're on the Disney dining plan or not. At number 10 is a Caesar side salad which you can get in the Magic Kingdom at Pinocchio Village House. It is $2.99 or worth one credit on your Disney dining plan. Sorry, there's not too, there's not much special about this snack, but it's the vegetables that they use in Disney World are really really fresh. I think they grow most of them on site, and so you're never going to get a limp lettuce, which really annoys me when you get them on a side salad. And the dressing they use is really yum, and it's got good parmesan on it, so it's just a good light snack or just one of your five a day to get in. At number nine is the pork and vegetable egg roll, which is kind of like a spring roll to make a comparison. You can get it from Joy of Tea in the China Pavilion in Epcot or the egg roll stand in the Magic Kingdom. And it is $3.99 $3 or worth one snack credit, but it's quite large and it's good for on the go and it, it's, it's quite yummy. It satisfies that need, I think. At number eight is the French onion soup, or the leek soup, but the picture you've just seen is the French onion soup, which you get in the Be Our Guest restaurant as a quick service snack in Bell's Castle. It's $4.99, or worth one credit, so the maximum that a Disney dining credit is going to be worth is really five dollars so you're getting your money's your credits worth with that but it's a really good soup it really fills you up obviously if you're hot then a soup isn't the best credit the best thing to have but it's also a really good opportunity to get into the castle it is really busy at Bell's Castle at lunchtime but it's still worth a go and you can't take the soup out with you because they serve it in a ceramic bowl so you'll have to sit in and stay there. At number seven is a pot of chili which you can get, so I have to read my notes, which you can get either in the American Pavilion, Adventure Pavilion in Epcot's World Showcase in Liberty Inn or you can get it in the Magic Kingdom as at Casey's Corner but you have to ask for it at Casey's Corner because it's served on their hot dogs but you can get it as a side in a cup and on its own it is $3.49 or worth one snack credit and you can just take a spoon or drink it or whatever you do so you can have it on the go but it's really hearty really tasty really fresh ingredients really yummy number six is a sweet potato with cheese a baked sweet potato obviously not raw and you can get that from the liberty in market in the magic kingdom if you were to buy it, it is $3.49 or worth one snack credit and I just, I think it's a good healthy option because a sweet potato is better than a normal potato health wise if you're health conscious and I think it really fills you up. I think it's like a good light lunch 
so that's a good one to have. Although not very exciting, it's readily available and at a really good price. Number five is a curry chicken pocket, which you find in the China Pavilion in the Epcot World Showcase at the Joy of Tea. And it is $3.99 or one credit, and it's good filling and nice flaky pastry. Number four is a tuna side salad from Epcot, Land of the Living, or the Land Pavilion, opposite the, or near to the Soarin' Ride. And that is $3.19 or one credit and Alex and I we had no breakfast no lunch we were hanging out most of the day we just wanted something really light and we got this tuna salad and it was so yummy and it was on a bed of one lettuce leaf which was really yummy as well and I sort of miss it I miss that tuna Number three is the jalapeno cheese pretzel, which you can get at Fife and Drum Tavern in the American Adventure Pavilion in the Epcot World Showcase. It's $4.99 or worth one snack credit. And the reason why I put this in over the other pretzels is because you can get loads of different types of pretzels, sweet cinnamon with cheese dippy things all through Disney World. But this one is different and it's got a kick to it and the cheese and jalapeno is in the middle so you just have to carry one thing as opposed to dipping you don't get messy and it's really yummy it's like it's a dream in a bag number two is chili cheese fries and you can get these from Pecos, Bill's Tall Tale Inn and Cafe in the Magic Kingdom or I think that's in Frontierland and then you can get it from Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe in Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom and they are $4.99 or one credit so that's a good credit really yummy I don't think I have to talk about it you can see from the photo it looks delicious good comfort food So at number one, it has to be done, it's the famous turkey leg. You can get these in all four parks in Disney World. And they range in price from $9.19 to $10.25. And they, you can't use a credit for that. It's too big. You can't even use two credits. You've got to pay. But it's, it's huge. You can walk around with it. It's really yummy, really succulent. Turkey is quite good meat for you, so it's not the worst thing you can have and you can share it if you want to share your meat but you might not want to and really yummy so it had to be number one had to be so those are my top 10 savory snacks they're more you can get really yummy unique savory snacks at Disney World but these ones I angle more for replacement of lunches because you want to save up for the sweet snacks when you're not hungry let's face it this is just fuel fuel for the parks but I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Bye.